Here we are at Theodore Roosevelt's inaugural site. Our box from the Northeast Document Conservation Center has acclimated. And now we'll work on opening it. And it's very well sealed, which of course is what we want. the box within a box. We'll clean these up later. Now there should be two objects in here. We not only sent the Wilcox Bible over to the NEDCC, but also a photo album from the Pan American Exposition. We had both evaluated. Um, we can only afford some work done on the Bible, so that's one that we're really anxious to see. Pretty heavy. Alright, our interior box. Let's see what we have here. Wilcox Bible that I mentioned is kind of interesting because it um, was described by Ansley Wilcox on January, January 17th, 1878, which is the day he marries his first wife, Cornelia Rumsey. And here comes our paperwork. All right, it looks like the spin volume is our Pan Am photo album. And this is our Bible, at least coming down. Okay, this is the treatment report and photo documentation, which is always kind of interesting to see, but it's on disc, so we'll look at that later. And it looks like we're getting down to the Bible itself now. Bubble wrap. Open here. Very well wrapped, which is exactly what I would expect from an EDCC. And let's see. Gently cut this tape. This is the custom box that we have created for the Bible. It's labeled very nicely with the object number and the description on the side. And now, opening the Bible. Ooh. Okay, treatment performed. Let's see. Oh. 
Uh, here are photographic copies of the family record pages, which is what we're really interested in. This is all Ansley Wilcox is writing. Um, January 17th, 1878, I said, is the day he marries Cornelia Coburn Rumsey, his first wife. Um, she dies a few years later, and then he marries Mary Grace Rumsey, who's actually Cornelia's sister. These are, let's see, all of Ansley's uh, sisters and brothers. Um, this is the piece, well, this is, again, it's the copy, but this is the piece that really fascinated us with the Bible because Ansley and Cornelia have a daughter in November of 1880, and we have always known her as Cornelia, named after her mother. But when we got this Bible, we realized by looking at the family record that she was originally named Mary Grace Wilcox. We see here, daughter of Ansley and Cornelia, uh, born at Buffalo, November 4th, 1880. Um... Cornelia dies not too long after, and look here, it says January 17th, 1881, name of above changed Cornelia Rumsey Wilcox. Um, January 17th is the anniversary of when he married uh, the baby's mother, and they changed her name on that date to honor her mother, which was kind of cool, and no one knew that or no one remembered it until we got this Bible, so that was kind of neat. So these are all the copies that we had. And, oh good, paper wrapping is for transit only. As you can see, it's a custom box fitted exactly to the Bible, which is really nice. I'm going to take it out. Now the work we had done is not was not designed to make the Bible perfect in any way. It was just kind of stabilize it and clean it. So we're not expecting to see a brand new looking Bible in here. Again, it's very worn, um, and we weren't actually expecting it to look perfect when we got it back, but it's better and less, certainly less, when I touch it, it doesn't come off on my glove. Um, we have his name inscribed on the front, and the covers are detached, which isn't surprising, and certainly not, we didn't expect them to be reattached. Um, let's see. Inside there's uh, Ansley Wilcox, January 17th, 1878. Again, the day he marries Cornelia Rumsey. And then let's see. Back here, somewhere, and I can't open this too much because, again, it's so fragile. But back here are those family record pages, the originals, yikes. Um, and they've been interleaved with... Uh, acid free tissue. So those are the originals, but we have those great copies now, copies now, and uh, that's pretty exciting. So that's what was in the box. Yay.